Hello, hello. All right, so um, I wanted to do a song that is really great for someone just starting their to learn guitar solos. Um, this song, Albatross, it's written by Peter Green, the original founding member of Fleetwood Mac. Um, played lead guitar and sang vocals for them in the first incarnation of the band when they were basically like a blues band. Um, anyway, this song has pretty far-reaching influence. It's one of the like kind of classic instrumental songs from the 60s and 70s. So much so that the Beatles covered it, um, or they didn't cover it necessarily, but um, they wrote the song Here Comes the Sun King, which is off Abbey Road, um, based off of this song. And the, the seeds of the writing from that um, were from a jam session where they were playing Albatross. And that jam session is actually recorded, so you can hear the process of them playing Albatross and then writing Here Comes the Sun King during that jam session. So it's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, I love it because it's very melodic, vocal-like, and chill. Um, there's not a whole lot of chops necessary, and um, it just is a great sounding song. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna play it for a sec, um, so you can see how I play it on the guitar, and then um, I'll break it down a bit for you. I have the tab pulled up on my laptop here as well. So I might um, scroll through that just to make sure I'm playing what I'm going to be sending you. And that's all I want to teach in this video. So uh, let's talk about it. So um, the opening section, the chords, are kind of grounded by this first bass note. It's the seventh fret on the low E. I would really strongly recommend that you use your ring finger to play that note. So you can reach across the strings and play the next two chords. So, play out with your ring. Now the next two chords. Um, we have an A major triad. Um, so it goes six on G, and then bar the bottom two strings on five with your index. So six, five, five. And then we have an A flat minor triad. Um, and that's just four, four, four. One finger across the bottom three. So both, both triads are the bottom three strings. Six, five, five, four, four, four. Um, cool. So. Ah. Uh, and then uh, one thing I should mention as well is the time signature is 12-8. And the way you count this is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, next measure. Um, so that's how you count it. So one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. That was really hard to say and play. I'm not gonna do that anymore. But that's the gist. <laughs> Sliding on the A string from two to four with my ring. Going 
back and forth, two on D, four on A. And then uh, sliding up to six on D with my ring. That's the whole lick there. Coming back to four. So slide up to six, come back to four. I would break that in half at first, making sure I got that, and then I would work on this. And you've got the first lick. What a lick! It's beautiful. Next part is simplified. We go 4-4 four, four on A. Let me just do that slide back down to 4 on the D string. So those first two licks. Pretty easy. Um, and then we do a slide up to 4 on A. Like that. And then 4-2 on the D string. take the last two licks. So I just showed you the third lick in, in the little section. The last lick, I guess you could say, is just 4-2 one more time on D. So I'll play that again because this is probably too many words not enough playing. changes a little bit. Um, so we're going to go over those changes, but I would really strongly recommend that before you get to this part um, that you have the first section of soloing memorized. Um, because mentally what you want to do is you kind of want to process this as like you know a variation of what came before. Um, if you try and do them all at once you'll really it'll be you'll definitely just confuse what lick to play when. So um, try to do that. If you are having trouble memorizing stuff, I would definitely suggest that you vocalize these licks. Just whatever syllables you can. You can hum it. Um, whatever you can do to try and get it in your ear. Vocalization is the fastest path to memorization. Um, period. On any instrument, it's the fastest way to learn new music. So um, if you can learn how to say it, then you can learn how to play it. As a mentor of mine taught me well, many moons ago. Okay, so second set of licks. Like I said, very similar. Starts off exactly the same. So the first lick is the same both times. Now the second lick. I love that lick. So I'm doing a lot of sliding with my ring. I'm sure you can uh, see. So I'm on the D string now, sliding four to six. And then G string four six, but I pick both those notes. So slide, pick, pick. Okay. Then I'm sliding up again to six, back down to four. So. Take that slow. 
Focus on getting the phrasing, having good tone, um, and yeah, don't, when you slide, I can't remember if I've said this before, but basically, uh, you know, when you slide, you want to have a soft touch. So finesse those notes. The harder you push down as you slide, the harder the slide gets. So take it easy. Um, okay, so up to now. Let's do the next lick. Great lick. So again, I'm sliding with my ring. Two to four on A this time. And then up the D string. Two, four, six. But that four to six part is a slide. Just like it has always been in the whole song. Okay. And then we end on two of D. Nice and melodic, right? And then the last uh, lick is. So that's four on A, four on D, two on D. You can kind of roll your ring finger if you want to play those two fours in a row. Or you can just use different fingers. Either way is fine. Um, you have enough time in the phrasing and the tempo of the song to just sort of make a decision on the spot if you want. Um, but the important thing is clean, articulated notes, okay? The guitar is the vocalist in this song, so make sure, you know, every note counts. Um, okay, great. So, um, there will be a link to the tab for this, and the goal being to play along to the recording with good tone and good phrasing, good articulations, playing it smooth, and uh, like Peter Green. Okay, uh, that does it for me, and uh, have fun playing this tune.